disciples and so jesus was speaking in luke chapter 18 verse 8 he said when the son of man returns will he still find faith on earth because the way the devil is attacking faith is not just in individuals the way he's attacking faith is in the whole world he's attacking faith he wants to annihilate faith from the world and he knows what he's doing because the bible said they just shall live by faith so if we say we are justified the only way we are supposed to live is by faith you cannot claim you are justified and not live by faith so if faith is destroyed it means our justification will come under attack because our life will be in disagreement with what god says and so jesus lamented when the son of man comes will he find faith on earth so anybody you find standing is standing in faith this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith a generation that is standing a generation that overcomes the world we overcome the world by faith and there are five organic realities of faith i want to touch this morning to help somebody who wants to walk by faith number one organic realities of faith number one is persuasion anybody you see who will walk and sustain faith must be persuaded if you are not persuaded you cannot walk in the corridor of faith when you see a man who does not change his conviction is because he's persuaded in Romans chapter 4 verse 21 you see the life of Abraham God told him you will be the father of many nations and the Bible said in verse 18 who against hope believed in hope that he will be the father of many nations and in verse 19 he said he staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief but he was strong in faith giving thanks to God why he said he did not consider his body now dead nor the deadness of Sarah's womb why why did Abraham defy circumstances why did Abraham not consider his body dead why did Abraham believe hope against hope in verse 21 he tells us why he said the reason Abraham was able to stand in faith is because he was fully persuaded that what God promised he was able to perform many people have not sat down to be persuaded in the word of God they think the word of God is another religious text so they approach it religiously and when it doesn't work like magic they change their minds a man of faith comes to that point where he tells himself i'm not believing god for him to answer if god answers that's fine even if he doesn't answer i still believe because the bible says some died in faith so we are not just believing god because he answers should in case this is what the three hebrew boys know our God is able to deliver us from your hands. But even if he does not deliver us, we will not bow. Our generation thinks faith is all about answer. And so every time we talk faith, we say God answers. So because we have taught people that faith is just answer, answer. When they don't get answers, they turn away and start looking for answer with Babalao. Faith is not just about answer. Yes, faith produces answers. But faith is a life. It's a life of full persuasion and conviction in God. That God is beyond the answer. Even if you don't see the answer, you will still believe God. As I'm standing here now, heaven knows. I believe God heals. And I've seen the hand of God mightily in the area of healing. But if I were dying of sickness today, I will not change my belief. Because I believe God more than the healing. I believe his integrity it is called persuasion and so if you want your faith to subsist you must be fully persuaded and persuasion means you believe God beyond the answer you have checked the word you have seen that it is written is greater than my experience my experience may not have aligned yet but it will not change it is written I would rather go with it is written than go with what I'm experiencing now if you get to that point then you have understood the first organic element of faith this is where abraham was 
the bible said it came to a point where there was no hope at all but he kept believing that's what it means when he said who against hope believed in hope number two he said although his body was dead and sarah was completely buried he said he did not consider his body now dead neither the deadness of sarah's womb number three he said he did not stagger at the promises of god he didn't sit down wondering this thing god said will he happen will he didn't consider all of those things he said he was persuaded and the sign that he was persuaded was that although the answer had not yet come he was giving thanks that's the organic reality of faith that you will be persuaded but can i tell you you cannot be persuaded until you meditate on the word